Welcome! In front of me is a Motorola Moto G53 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now before I get started I'm gonna quickly mention that um, we'll be using or I'll be using in this video a pattern to bypass this and I'm gonna show you what the pattern will be that I'm gonna set up and I want to show it just because I'm gonna put it in right now and you will see that it does not work. So you can see once I let go, it tells me a wrong pattern. I can do that once more. I'm gonna do it from the side just so you can see that I'm actually touching the display. Again, wrong pattern. So there we go. Uh, this is the pattern that I'll be using like this. Um, so let's just begin. Now, one thing that you will need is a internet connection. So I have already connected to my network. If you are at the very beginning of the setup, just proceed forward till you get to this page, connect Wi-Fi, select your network, connect to it. As you can see, I have already done so. And from there, scroll down to the uh, add new network. Then in SSID, just tap whatever, select the text that you typed in, and then choose copy. And this will bring up a share option. So click on it, select messages, now I have already attempted this uh, prior to recording this right now, so that's why I have a couple options right here, but you will just see uh, the two options right here, cancel and new message. Select. I'm gonna select new message just as you would. And then in the to field, I'm gonna just type in any kind of number. It doesn't need to be real or like long. You can just, I believe, then press one letter or one number and it should still work. That's what I'm gonna do right here. And then in the message, you want to type in www.youtube.com. Now the first part of www is actually important. If you don't put it in, uh, then it will open up YouTube in like this pop-up view for some reason. So you want to actually at the World Wide Web. So like this, uh, once you sent it, uh, for you, and just to clarify this, you will have, you won't see this image, you will have top to reload, uh, or reload preview, I believe. So tap on that, and then it will bring up this image, tap on it, and then it will open up YouTube in its own window, which is what we needed. Um, so from here, we're going to select the account icon, then we're going to go into settings, and about Google privacy policy, accept and continue, and no thanks. Again, no thanks. Once we're in here, we want to tap right at the top and navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. Now, if you need a moment to type it in yourself to pause the video. And in here, we're going to, well, consent. It's not like we have an option. We're going to scroll down and select the screen lock set many. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be setting up a pattern. You can use anything else like password or pin, but because we will be inputting it probably 10 times or more, uh, I would recommend selecting something that is uh, super fast to type in. So either pin or pattern. For me, pattern is quicker than pin, so that's what I'm going to be using. So again, I'm going to select pattern gonna draw our pattern next repeat it confirm repeat it gives me that the uh, settings keep stopping that's fine uh, this can happen either like the first try second or maybe even third try uh, once it does just go back once and again select the screen like set mini and we're gonna continue doing the same thing I'm gonna continue this until it actually sets up the screen lock which will take us to a different page. Oh, there we go. So, um, that's the page that we're looking for. From here, simply select DSMN and got it. And that's it. The screen lock that we had as a verification method has just changed. So now just go back And we're gonna now progress through the setup. 
Now I'll mention that if you even had something like a pattern and you changed it to pin, this will also replace it. So instead of seeing a verify your pattern, now you'd see verify your pin. It gets completely replaced. Uh, but in my case, it didn't really replace. I mean, it replaced the pattern that was uh, used, but it didn't replace the unlocking method. So I'm just gonna now use my pattern and voila. Uh, from here, uh, we will need to use it once more. And I'll also add that even though we can now get past the, the screen and finish up the setup, uh, there is one last thing that we need to do to finish up the bypass. So at the moment, select whatever is quickest for you. Again, I'm gonna do it once more. Okay, so as you can see, we are now on the home screen. Now, the last thing that you want to do is navigate into your settings. From here, select system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, confirm your uh, pin, pattern, password, whatever you selected, and then select erase all data once more. Now, this will basically begin a factory reset of your device. And the reason you want to do this as a last step is just to ensure that all the protection that was on this device prior to our bypass will be removed. So by performing it through settings, uh, Android just automatically gets rid of everything because it considers that the user is legit and whatever. So yeah, like I said, it removes uh, Google accounts and the previous screen locks. You will be taken back to the, uh, to the setup screen but at that point the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up in whatever way you want. You won't need to do any kind of bypassing, just go through it as you would normally go to a setup of a brand new device. And that's about it. Now I'm not gonna go through the reset on the video just because it's like a couple minutes of time and literally shows you nothing. So it's kind of useless. So anyway, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.